Hello YouTube, this is my first game review and I am going to be reviewing Racket and Bang on the PlayStation 2. Good game, bye. Okay, but seriously, it is a good game. But before we talk about that and why it's an excellent game, in fact, we need to go through Insomniac's catalogue before Racket and Clang. Disruptor. Never played it. Check Wikipedia, check the reception page on it. Looks like a good game though. Spyro the Dragon. What do I have to say about it? It's great. Spyro 2, Gateway to Glimmer. And if you're Murrican, Ripto's Rage. Better game. And Spyro 1, better music, better graphics, better everything. It's the sequel to Spyro, what can you expect? Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. Last game to be made by Insomniac on the Spyro series. Still continues, but Spyro was never made by Insomniac again. Monster Knight, never played it. Don't have it. No one has it. No one's played it. And it's not a game. It doesn't exist. It was cancelled. It was the first ever thought of PS2 game by Insomniac, but it got cancelled. It may sound like, like a fun game, though. Now, here's one you probably heard of. Girl with a Stick. A mix between Tomb Raider and Zelda. And basically... Self-explanatory. It's Girl with a Stick. It was kind of made a kind of functional, but it didn't get released. It was very boring, apparently. And now we get on to Racket and Clang. What do I have to say? It's great. And also looks sick. And all on the back. Why am I putting my nose on it? Here it is. Racket and Clang on, on the P Station 2. Yeah. Oh, Let's read it. He's got cool thing. Let's see the plot in the manual. Wow. Those are weapons. I want them. But I can't have them. I'm good, I'm in Britain. I can't have them. Okay, so. Good guys. Bad guy. Sell out. Simple. Basic controls. Here are the controls for Racket and Clang. So if you want to watch this review, you can watch it here and see the controls. Yay. And also some advanced controls. Pause it if you can't read it. Pause, pause to read. It's a pause to read thing. But you can't read it. Pause to read. <laughs> giant clank. Or should I say, giant clang. Yeah. And, oh, hoverboarding. Yeah. Everyone's favourite thing in the game other than fighting. And yeah, there's some other controls that you might need. Okay. Here it is. Some more stuff that you shouldn't be able to read. And also now, the game screen. So basically the HUD is really simple. So in the top left you have your ammo. In the top middle, you have your nanotech, which is basically your health system. And in the top right, you've got your bolts, which are your form of currency in the game. And also, R3 button. And press the R3 button, which is select. To access the map screen. Also, there's a galactic map. Nano, info bolts, bolts, gold bolts, 
they're a bit hard to get. I can, uh, I've only got one in my entire like time I've been playing the game. I haven't even beaten it. So the weapons, some of the weapons are the Omni Wrench 8000, the Blaster, the Bomb Glove, Pyrocitus Suck Cannon. Oh, what am I sucking in the Suck Cannon? What am I putting in it? The Trespasser, the Metal Detector, the Hydro Displacer, the Heli Pack, the Fuster Pack. The Hydro Pack. The Grind Boots, the Magna Boots. Um, that's it. That isn't all the weapons, by the way. There is also like some other stuff, like the Rhino. Which is known as the Ripier, a new one. Mm -hmm. And is the most powerful missile launcher in existence. So beat your assault rifle, Master Chief. If someone comes to you with a rhino, you're basically dead. Yeah. Also, frequency jammers, tripods, and invincible in lock. Also, there's the Gadgetron help desk. Pretty good. What this? What this? What is there? It's some weapons on it. No. And here's a gadget that we all need a P Station 2 memory card, the Rhino, the Taunter, the Suck Cannon, the Glove of Doom, and the Tesla Claw Dual Shock 2. Well, am I going to get an electric shock for using it? Oh my god. God, it's uh, it's E, it's E. Oh no, it's not. It's E, the money company that makes games just for money. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Hello, welcome to EA. Would you like to play a game for a hundred pound, or would you? And would you like to get the season pass for a billion pound? And would you like to use your pickaxe for nine pound? Yeah, EA is kind of memed, like, because in the olden days, like, like the PS2 era, they made good games. Like, EA used to make good games, but now they're just all about money. Ma so you're going to make me read that? Yes, I'm going to read it. FIFA. FIFA 2003. N Nibala live two o o three no two o o three Tigo Wood Wads Paga two two o o three and my favorite one sharks <laughs> and there's o o seven Night fire. Well, I can't tell fire in the middle of the night after I played it. Lot of the dings. The two twers. The Sims. The Sims. Not the Sims 4. The Sims 1. Who? Harold Potter. In the room of untold things, <laughs> wizards tie the Tasmanian tiger. I don't get that. Medal of Honor, Medal of Honor. I don't care. N need for speed cars. And no racket and clang! Are you crazy? It's a good game, though. And now my verdict. And now my verdict for the game. Let's close the case. And hear my verdict. Now, I haven't beaten the full game. I'm sorry. Just, I'll tell you what I like. Favourite weapon easily the rhino 
least favourite weapon, easily the weakest weapon in the game. Probably an arm. Probably bomb glove, because I don't use it. Probably the weapon I use the least, the bomb glove. And total verdict. It may say 9 out of 10 on the box, but it's a 10 out of 10 for me. Bye! Like, subscribe, hit that bell and see you next review. Done.